Welcome to Lesson 3D, Choked Converging Nozzle Flow. In this lesson, I'll work through an example problem of choked flow in a converging nozzle, like that sketched here. And for fun, I'll compare our results to those of the beloved Bernoulli equation. In this problem, air flows steadily from a large pressurized tank with these stagnation conditions through a converging nozzle or duct with exit area AE and back pressure PB. I don't actually give PB, since as long as PB is less than P star, the flow is choked. This back pressure can range from zero, a perfect vacuum, all the way to P star, and the flow will not change, since the flow is choked as we've discussed previously. We'll calculate the mass flow rate and the airspeed VE, which I'll label here at the exit plane. I listed the assumptions and approximations which are typical of these flows. Part A, calculate m dot. Well, since the flow is choked, m dot equal m dot max. And recall from a previous lesson that for an ideal gas under these conditions, m dot max is p naught a star, square root of gamma over rt naught, gamma plus 1 over 2, all raised to the negative gamma plus 1 over 2 gamma minus 1. Here, a star is equal to ae, again, since the flow is choked. In other words, there are sonic conditions at the exit plane. Let's plug in the numbers. m dot max equal p naught, ae, gamma for air is 1.40, r for air, t naught, and gamma plus 1 over 2 would be 2.4 over 2, or 1.2, which we can do in our head. And when you plug in 1.4 here, the exponent becomes negative 3. We'll need a couple unity conversion factors. There are a thousand newtons per meter squared kPa, and a kilogram meter is a second squared newton. And I'll caution here, be careful of the factor of a thousand, since our pressure units are in kPa. I've seen this kind of mistake a lot in my many years of teaching. Let's make sure the units cancel, kPa, newtons, for meters, we have two here and one here in the numerator, or meter cubed, and two plus another one in the denominator, since this is a square root, so the meters all cancel out. Ks cancel out. This gives us one second in the numerator and two in the denominator, so the units work out, and we have m dot max equal 3.6406 kilogram per second, which I write to three significant digits here, 3.64 kilograms per second. Part B is to calculate VE, the speed at the exit plane. I'll do this two ways. For method A, we recognize that since the flow is choked, VE equal AE equal A star, since the Mach number at the exit plane is 1. And we have an equation for A star, namely gamma R T star. But recall from a previous lesson that T star over T naught is 2 over gamma plus 1 for an ideal gas. Therefore, VE is the square root of gamma R T naught, T star over T naught, again with the effective use of ratios. Putting these two together, we have VE equals square root of gamma R T naught, 2 over gamma plus 1. Putting the numbers in, gamma, R for air, T naught, and 2 over gamma plus 1, all under the square root, k's cancel, and we have meter squared per second squared under the square root, so we get 417.27 meters per second. The answer to three digits is thus 417 meters per second. One comment here, exit speed VE depends on T naught, as we see in this equation, and on R and gamma, of course, but it doesn't depend on P naught. You might think that as P naught increases, VE would increase, but P naught never enters in this analysis. This is because the speed of sound depends on T only, not on pressure. And here, since the flow is choked, VE is A star, which depends only on T naught, not on P naught. I'll do this a second way, method B. Since we know that M dot equal M dot max, anywhere in the duct, M dot E the mass flow rate at the exit plane must equal m dot max also. And we know that at this cross-sectional location, the exit plane, 
m dot is rho e v e a e, which we can solve for v e m dot max over rho e a e. But again, we know that all the properties are critical properties at the exit plane. So we know that rho e equal rho star. Again, I'll use ratios. This is equal to rho naught times rho star over rho naught. Well, from the ideal gas law, rho naught is p naught over r t naught. And from our critical relationships for an ideal gas, rho star over rho naught is 2 over gamma plus 1 to the exponent 1 over gamma minus 1. So plugging these into here and this into here, after a little bit of algebra, we get VE equal m dot max r t naught over p naught AE 2 over gamma plus 1 to the 1 over gamma minus 1. This is our answer in variables. Plugging in the numbers, we have m dot max from part A, and I'm using lots of digits to avoid round off error, r for error, t naught, and I'm going to write p naught as 158,000 newtons per meter squared. AE, and plugging in 1.40 for gamma for air, we'll need one unity conversion factor, namely a newton second squared is a kilogram meter. And you can verify for yourself that all the units cancel except meters per second. And we get VE equal 417.27 meters per second, or 417 meters per second to three digits, which agrees with method A, and that always makes me happy. Another comment, if you can solve a problem using two or more methods, do it. This will often verify your algebra and make you very happy when these two or more methods give you the same answer. Now let's compare our results if we use the beloved Bernoulli equation. We have p naught in the stagnation tank where the speed is essentially zero and VE at the exit plane with pressure PE, which will set equal to the back pressure PB. And the beloved Bernoulli equation, without gravity, will write as P naught plus one half rho V naught squared in the tank equal PE plus one half rho VE squared at the exit plane. This, of course, is the incompressible beloved Bernoulli equation that everyone likes to use and that you typically learn in your first fluid mechanics class. Well, we can simplify because V naught is zero in the tank, and then we can solve for VE. VE squared turns out to be two P naught minus PE over rho, or VE equal the square root of two P naught minus PE over rho. This is our answer in variables from the incompressible beloved Bernoulli equation. Say, Sonny, which density should we use? The stagnation density? or the density at the exit plane? Well, Pops, that's a good question. Let's pretend we know nothing about compressible flow effects, so let's use rho naught. From the ideal gas law, we can calculate rho naught. Rho naught is P naught over R T naught. And when you plug in the numbers, which I won't show here, keeping many digits, I get 1.0587 kilogram per meter cubed. So VE would be the square root of 2 times P naught minus PE, which is less than P star if you do the calculations. And since I didn't actually give PE, I just chose some arbitrary value, 80,000 newton per meter squared over our density and our unity conversion factor. And we get 384 meters per second, which is not very close to the correct answer, which is 417 meters per second. This was for the case with rho equal rho naught. Let's try rho equal rho e instead, which is equal to rho star. Well, again, using ratios, we have rho equal rho naught, rho star over rho naught. And rho star over rho naught is gamma plus 1 over 2 to the negative 1 over gamma minus 1. Well, we already calculated rho naught above, and we plug in our gamma of 1.40. And the exit density turns out to be 0.671149 kilogram per meter cubed, which, by the way, is a lot smaller than rho naught, which was close to 1. So when we plug in this density into our equation from the beloved Bernoulli equation, without showing all the numbers, I get 482 meters per second, which again is not correct. 
since the correct exit speed is 417 meters per second. You could try using an average density, row naught plus row E over 2. I won't show any of my work, but when I do that, I get 425 meters per second, which is a lot closer, but still not correct. The bottom line is that the beloved Bernoulli equation is not valid for highly compressible flow. That's because beloved Bernoulli is an incompressible equation. Thank you, Sonny. You're welcome, Pops. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos.